So when this video was recorded, it would have been a few hours after I just finished watching Despicable Me 4. And that was mid, to be honest with you guys. I didn't even have high expectations going into it. Like for me, the bar was on the ground for this. I mean, it was all right. It definitely didn't exceed my expectations. It probably didn't even meet my expectations. It was just mediocre, just like something to play on the background for 95 minutes. So I wanna kinda do like a review for this movie because now apparently I've been doing a lot of reviews for many movies that I watch. So I thought, why not? Let me do this. So, you know, Despicable Me 4 is not that bad of a movie. It's kind of just mediocre. Like the animation is just the same as the rest of the series. Uh, the, the story is just basic at best. It's basically revolving around this villain called Maxine Lamal. Uh, I think that's how you pronounce his name. It's basically this guy who wants to take revenge at Gru because Gru, you know, beat him in like a, a school talent show back in the day. And, uh, you know, he wants to, you know, kill Gru basically. Uh, you know, kidnap his, kidnap his baby because, you know, now Gru and Lucy have their own kid. You know, his name is Gru Jr. And, you know, now they have to evacuate to this safe house. That way Maxine does, does not find them. And many shenanigans happen. They go by these fake ide identities. And, you know, uh, many things happen. They Gru does a heist. And, you know, some shenanigans happen. They meet this, like, you know, one one girl. I, I don't even know how to pronounce I, I, Her name is, like, Poppy. But, you know... I feel like she's very incredibly forgettable. She was mainly there to have like another person to inter inter interact with the Gru, besides like you know the family and you know the minions and you know his wife. They also meet a lot of these random ass people. Like they meet this like famous uh, couple who love tennis. They meet this like hairstylist. Like they all have these like very American accents. Like like oh shucks, they, they, that's just a load of issues there, man. Like. Stuff, stuff like that, I'm, I'm not a big fan of it, to be honest with you guys. And that's like pretty much like what happens during the movie with with spoilers. You know, I, I might have spoiled a couple of you guys, but you know, you're, you're not missing out on much, to be honest. I don't think this movie is the worst in the Despicable Me franchise, but I will, I will like, you know, make a video where I go full in full detail about that. The entire Despicable Me franchise ranks from worst to best. Every movie, including, you know, Minions and Minions Rise of Gru. But this movie is definitely not the worst. It's definitely going above Minions for me. But I don't know if it beats Despicable Me 3 or not. I'm going to have to watch Despicable Me 3 again to find out where it ranks on, you know, the worst to best list. So, with that being said, I give this movie a 5 out of 10. It's very, like, forgettable, and if you wanted to play, like, on the background when you're doing something for 95 minutes, might as well do that, because that's the best purpose this movie will serve within 6 months. But with that being said, it's been Khalid, and I'll probably keep doing these movie reviews when more movies come out during the year. So stay tuned for those reviews. That being said, I'm out. Peace.